Hello. Using COPC32 on VB.NET Express, it is easy. It is the same way to Visual Basic 6. In this example, it is Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. You can use in 2010 edition as well. First of all, we need to add the COBC control into the toolbox by right click on the toolbox and choose item. In the COM components tab, after you have installed COBC32, uh, it will be appear in the list. Check on COBC32.COBC and click OK. Put COBC control into the form. Please specify that its name is AXCOBC1. You can change it as well. Right click on it and select ActiveX property to specify the OPC server. And update red. In this example, I will use 100 millisecond. In the OPC tags tab, you need to specify the OPC tags you would like to connect. Then enter. When form load, we will force the OPC one to connect to the OPC server. Then. Double click on the form to enter to form load event. Use the code COPC1. It is uh, our COPC instance dot connect. OK. Get back to the form and select uh, form closing. Double click on it. We will force the COPC to disconnect from OPC server. Then we use COPC one dot disconnect. This will disconnect from OPC server when form closing. And when the data of OPC value has changed, we would like to show the value that changed into the form. We will show it on the on some text box or label. In this example, I'll use label. Three label. OK, double click on COPC control. You will be here, that change. This event will invoke when data of OPC tags has changed. Label one dot text CLPC one dot get VL. Get VL is the method to get uh, the value of OPC tags. You need to specify the index number of the OPC tags. If you cannot remember, get back and go to the property of COPC control. You will be see the index number of each OPC tax. Okay. This is the second one and the third. If you would like to show it at form load, copy the code and first into form load event. Now ready. Okay, now if you would like to control the OPC tag, get back to the form. In this example, I will use a uh, text box and Simple button, command button.
used to write just to write the OPC value. Okay, its name is text box one. Okay, and the button one. Now we need to specify the OPC tag that can read and write. Go to the property OPC tag and see some OPC tag that we can write. The tag will be written able, able to write some value. Enter. Then double click on the button to write some command to send a value to OPC text. So we see one dot OPC write. Specify the index number. If you cannot remember, get back to the form, right click, select property, and see OPC tag index number is three. Okay. And then specify the value you would like to send to OPC tax. Uh, in this example, it is C double to convert the text box into a double. Okay, or C int. Because my register type is integer. Text box one. Dot text. Okay. Now show the value when it data has changed. Level three. Okay. I'll change level three to show the new OPC tag value. Okay, now it is zero, and then I send to the two, and write the value has shown to the two. Okay, easy. Thank you for watching.